Alright guys, welcome back to another part of my Mass Effect 3 playthrough. This time, as I said in the previous, we're going to go do some of the N7 missions. And this N7 mission is the one that we've seen uh, on the orbital map for quite some time. And I'll show you exactly what it's called here. It's the uh, Cerberus Lab mission. So this is going to be uh, quite fun. Obviously we're going to be facing some uh, Cerberus characters here and let's... Now let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to try to start labeling the videos so you know what's going to go on in each video. Um, if you've noticed, I started labeling like, say, if it's going to be Citadel missions, well then I will label it as such. I will label it as a main mission for you guys. That way, if maybe you don't want to see some of the side quest stuff or maybe all of the character development, which I personally love, but I know it can be boring sometimes. I'm going to try to make it easier for you guys to kind of pick and choose which videos you want to see. Because that's the kind of playthrough guy I am. I want whatever you want. So we're going to go ahead and get in this mission and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do it. Okay, we got the same amount of characters as we had before. We're really have only scratched the surface of the game so far and we've already got over seven hours worth. But this is a Cerberus mission, so who are we going to take with us for Cerberus? Hmm. Let's go with our buddy James here. And why not? Let's see. Ah, we'll stick with Garrus too. I really like this uh, this duo team right here. Okay, we got some weapon customizations. You can see we've got massive weight problems. We're getting pretty fat, which is causing our recharge times to kind of not be so good. So we're going to see what we have. We have a lot more things to choose from now. Got an armor piercing mod and a high power caliber barrel. So we'll go with we'll go with these two and see how they end up for us. Uh, let's see what else as far as assault rifle mods. We saw the same assault rifle mods and we got a couple of different ones here. Let's see what we got. The shotgun shredder mod. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the shredder mod. And then the high... Yeah, I think those are good. So yeah, our recharge rates are low, but I haven't really seemed to have a problem with it so far. Because we've got the other two characters that have massive powers and abilities that we can use at our disposal. And we can also, so it's not only that we have weapon mods for us, but we can use those same weapon mods for our uh, characters, which is really cool. And last but not least, we got Garrus here. He's got two of those. Let's see. Okay. But the question is, do we have to have, no, we can give him a better one. We'll give him the Valkyrie as well. That way he's somewhat like me. So I think I got my stuff ready. We're going to try this uh, modification and see how it works out for us. Now we do have some points to update here. The question is, I really haven't even used Shockwave that much, which I know I used it a lot in my Mass Effect 2 playthrough. I think that was one of my main ones. I barely used Pool, but I always used Shockwave. So I think for what we're going to do right now is go ahead and update our mastery. So increase squad mate power damage, weapon damage, or increase weight capacity by 35 points. I think we definitely want to do that because this will make it to where our charges will get a lot faster and everything will be smoother for us. So let's see. Updates everything. We're going to get his concussion shot all the way up there. Uh, we'll do the recharge speed because we want all of our characters to have faster recharge abilities. Okay, now Mr. Vega, we've got lots of points that we can give this guy. 
See boost offensive and defensive abilities. Frag grenade. Fortification. Let's see. Uh, or the incendiary ammo guy, so I don't really care about that. So we're going to get his arms master all the way up. Increase weapon damage. There we go. And we don't have enough for anything else, but I think that's okay for now. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what Cerberus is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. All right, we are ready. On my way. All right, that's where we're going. Here we go, right into it. No questions asked, just kicking some ass. Alright, man, we just. Within 30 seconds of landing, man, we're already kicking some ass. You bet. Alright, well, I want to do a little searching around here because that seems just like too easy if it's already there. So let's see what else we can look around. I saw something here. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Even though I really don't use a sniper yet. But I plan on using it in future playthroughs. I know I eventually do because I want to do some headshots. I've seen a lot of headshots in other people's videos and things like that, and I want to use it. Nothing wrong with some credits. I think that's more actual Reaper technology there. So, okay. We're obviously probably going to be coming back down here. Oh, you scared me there, James. Man, I was about ready to shoot your ass. And there is some more there. Oh, it looks like... Will only lead to Metagel advances for Hanar. Only Cerberus would call that a failure. Okay, so... Let's see what this is. Well, that's weird looking. Guess we found it. It's got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. There is way more samples. I guess we just do one at a time, maybe? Let's see. We'll find out. Okay, yep. Second sample located, Commander. Nav point updated. Good work. Hell, I know where they all are, but I'm sure we're going to have more enemies. So every time we pick up a sample, there's going to be more enemies, of course. What do you think? Get out of my way. Hey, what's up? Hey, guys. How you doing? Good to see you both. Thanks for coming. I'm Commander Shepard, and I've just killed you on the Normandy. All right, let's pick this bad boy up. I 
you guys wait just a second? Thanks. Oh, thanks, guys. Heading back to you now. We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like being stranded. Never said it would be easy. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. That's how we do it. Who else wants a piece of this, huh? Well, you guys do, do you? Yeah, that just happened, guys. What's up? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can, uh, I'll take care of you. What's up? Stay focused. This isn't over yet. I can do this all day. What's up? Come back here. Where are you going? Hey, what are you doing? I think the wrong place to drop in. What's your status? Lieutenant. Let's switch weapons here. Let's go with the shotgun. Just stay focused and keep at it. Let's get really close to this guy. I want to see if we can blow him away. <laughs> Where's your head at, buddy? Hey there, what's going on? Cortez, do you copy? I don't think he made it. He'll make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. So we need to keep the landing pad clear. Oh, did you think you were gonna kill me right there? That was Ready cute. for extraction as soon as you can get here. Get away from Garrus, you little bitch. Hey, let me reload. Can you wait just a second? Thank you. Some people have no respect. What's up? Oh. Yeah. Achievement, baby, sky high. There's a man. No, there's like another Reaper thing down here. Why would I want to leave just yet? There's one up there. Well, it's telling me I pretty much have to leave right now, so hopefully... Stay a little longer. Okay, I guess this is it now. That sucks. There's still one more. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Okay, so that completes this part of our um, Cerberus lab playthrough. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and actually continue the uh, submissions for the Citadel. Now, why you guys were not watching, you know, in the background, I actually had went and collected uh, most of the resources for the Citadel missions that I needed to do. 
So since I've collected those, we're going to head right now to the Citadel and close some of those missions up. And I think this is a good opportunity to do it since this video has, is not actually that long. Okay, so here we are. We are back in the Presidium. And because we are back here, we have a few missions that we can cancel out here. One of those missions is obviously the General Oraka and the Kanik. So we're going to go and complete these missions right now. While you guys were away, or should I say while I was away from recording, I decided to go ahead and uh, find all that stuff just on my own. There was absolutely no reason why you guys needed to see it. It was just like mining kind of in a way where you would just go around the map and it told you where the artifacts were you scanned the planet and that was it no reason for you guys to see that but at least we can complete this part back, of huh? Any luck out there? you know our little citadel mission here i've got some pieces for you done deal commander check in with general oraka you'll see i'm making csec very happy so we are now have got some more war asses <laughs> did, I, did I say war asses? War assets. And we're going to go talk to this general guy and see uh, actually if the whole mission is uh, really complete now, maybe. We've got to keep Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Just glad I could help. And we got five Paragon points out of it. Maintain, my brothers and sisters. We have faced adversity and overcome. This is but a test. I recovered your pillars of strength from the mm -hmm. kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now... My people need any reminder of that faith they can get. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Okay, so we have a new kind of a store I guess we can go to. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. So we got some new Uniform things that we can do and the Terminus armor. We remember this. I think this came with the Dragon Age, right? That you got back in Mass Effect 2. We're going to get some of these these things here. I love these. We got enough money for it, but we're not going to get the Terminus armor. I don't think we really need that right now. And as far as anything else, I don't think we really need any of that other stuff either. Now, there is supposed to be a terminal that we're able to take a look at in the back of four, as you can see, it says Bay E28 Terminal. So we're going to head back there and see what we can actually find. Doesn't look like we can access it yet or it's not reading or something like that so maybe it's not something that we can actually finish as of yet we were going to get to it as soon as we can so uh, stay tuned for more episodes from the Citadel missions because there's still obviously a lot more things that I need to get that pertain to this part of Mass Effect so thanks for watching this playthrough guys hope you enjoyed this little brief service lab mission and uh, some more finishing of the Citadel missions so uh, we'll catch you guys back on the Normandy, and we're going to continue some more uh, missions. Thanks.